Jen LaForge and welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. Today we are going to be talking about my most recent trip to Walt Disney World and how I was able to use my Disney Vacation Club membership. How I use my points, what discounts I received, what special perks and benefits I had because I'm a DVC member. And I hope you'll come along. I hope that what I share is informative, helpful, and helps you decide if Disney Vacation Club is right for you and your family. So let's get started. Started. Okay, so first off, you need to know that I was there to run the Star Wars Half Marathon. This little beauty, Captain Phasma Metal, came home with me. The race was so much fun and we had such a good time. And that brings me to the very first perk that I was able to take advantage of with my Disney Vacation Club membership. And that is early registration for Run Disney Weekends. Now, you can take advantage of this whether you purchased resale or whether you purchased direct from Disney. It's through DVD member.com they will issue a special link sometimes it's a week before sometimes it's as much as a month before run Disney seems to want to do what they want to do but you can typically register early for races so the second thing we're going to talk about this is the reason you bought your membership in the first place right the room. How did that work? How did the points work out with our room? And what's the difference between what we used in points and what we would have paid for that same room with cash? So now here's a huge disclaimer. I'm going to be using numbers and me and math are not besties. So if you find anything wrong in my math, will you please comment below? Because although I ran these numbers three times, it is entirely possible that I have made a mistake along the way. Uh, Sarah and I stayed in a two bedroom at Disney's Old Key West Resort for three nights. So Friday night and Saturday night were 48 points per night for a two bedroom near Hospitality House. And Sunday night was 40 points for a two bedroom near Hospitality House for a total of 136 points for the three nights in a two bedroom. Now, Sarah and I splurged and uh, we stayed in a two bedroom last year and it was so nice having our own room and our own bathroom. But you need to understand this is a villa that can sleep up to eight people. So we definitely had room to spread out. Three nights at Old Key West, 136 points. Then I added on an extra day and I stayed in a Bay Lake Tower Lakeview studio that was 24 points. So the grand total for all four nights was 160 points. The dues that I pay annually on 160 points, because my home resort is Vero Beach, keep in mind, so no matter where I stay, I'm still paying dues based on my home resort. So with the home resort of Vero Beach, the dues on that amount of points is $1,280. So that's what I paid for the year for those 160 points that I used for this reservation. Now let's talk about what if you were paying cash. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, okay, she's gonna go with rack rates and I always get a discount when I go to Disney and that is probably true. So I am gonna give you the rack rates, but then I'm also gonna give you what you would have paid if you had rented the points through David's Vacation Rentals, which I'll put a link to his website below, um, which is greatly discounted. So that'll give you a little bit better idea of what you could pay for a similar reservation. But if you were going to pay cash, for that same reservation, for your three nights at Old Key West in a two bedroom villa, you would be paying, are you ready? Are you really ready? $892 a night for a grand total of $2,676 for three nights at Old Key West in a two bedroom. And then for my one night at Bay Lake Tower in a studio, if you were paying rack rate, you'd be paying $718 a night. So your grand total for the four nights, if I was not a member of Disney Vacation Club, my grand total for those four nights would have been $3,394, okay? So in my dues, I paid $1,280. If I had paid cash, I would have paid $3,394. Now, 
Yes, you had your, you're thinking, but I had my initial buy-in. So how does that play into it? Depending on how you purchased your membership, whether you paid cash or whether you financed, there is a point in the length of your membership where you have recouped the cost of your initial buy-in. Um, in our case, and, and hopefully this won't get too complicated, but in our case, we purchased a resale contract that was already fully loaded with a full week's reservation um, at uh, the beach club. So we almost recouped our entire cost just with that first visit. Uh, but you can find calculators online that will tell you what year you break even for that initial investment. And usually I think it's around the six or seven year mark. Um, I'm making the assumption that you've already made back your initial investment and now we're into where we're just using our membership, paying the points, and then going on vacation. Now, that same reservation, if you had purchased it through, uh, if you rented points through David's Vacation Club, which I strongly recommend, I think it's called David's Vacation Club Rentals or something. I'm saying the name wrong, but I'll put the link below. Uh, that same reservation, let's say you rented those points for $16 a point. And sometimes it can be more than that. And sometimes you can get it slightly less if they have a deal. But let's say you paid $16 a point. That same reservation would have cost you $2,000. $560. So even with the best rate that you could find, you're still saving 50% off. And if you look at the rack rate, you're saving 62% over the rack rate for those same exact rooms for that same period of time. So when Disney says you can save up to 50% off on your resort accommodations, that's what they're talking about. Yes, dues are going to go up as the years go by, but so are, as we've seen historically, the price of that room per night. So you're sort of locking in uh, that deal for those hotel nights. So I feel great about the fact that depending on how you run the math, I saved at least 50% over what I would have paid if I had booked that either through renting Disney vacation points or 62% if I had paid rack rate through Disney. And obviously you can get other, you know, you might get a 25% off, or if you're an annual pass holder, you might even get 40% off. Um, but I'm still coming out ahead when I work the numbers with my Disney Vacation Club membership. Was that clear as mud? Please put any questions about that below because that was complicated. Okay, now moving on to the rest of my benefits. My annual pass. It was time to renew my annual pass. Isn't that cute? Hello, Minnie. They gave these out uh, in a special place at the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, you could go and show them your annual pass holder card and your ID, and they gave you this lovely little magnet for free. So that was a fun little perk. My annual pass through Disney Vacation Club. Now, I was renewing. Um, it was $500 for me to renew my gold pass. Now, this could be a little misleading because there is no such thing as a gold pass if you are not a Florida resident or a DVC member. The next cheapest option, that the non-DVC option that I could find is the Platinum uh, Annual Pass, and that is $749. So I did save over $200. Now the, the difference there is the Gold Pass has a few blackout dates. I cannot go uh, Easter week, one spring break week I can't go. I can't go Christmas week. I don't really want to go then anyway, so that was fine with me. Um, but just know that I did save a couple of hundred dollars on my annual pass. So that was because I'm a DVC member. That is not available to you unless you purchase direct from Disney. If you purchase resale, you do not get the discount on annual passes. So that is important for you to remember. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about that I got because I'm a Disney Vacation Club member are discounts. Now, strangely, I did not buy that much on this trip. I don't know what that was about, but I just was not in a shopping frame of mind. So I didn't buy that much stuff. But if I had purchased a lot of things, everything would have been 20% off. Now, a little heads up on that. You get that 20% off, uh, like we used it at Old Key West in the grocery store when we bought all the groceries to have in the room because we wanted to have food for race morning, we got to use our 20% off. Um, when we bought a bottle of water, if it was in a gift shop, we got to use our 20% off. We also received a 10% discount at Frontera Cochina, and I believe also at Tony's Town Square, I'll have to double check and look that up, um, we got 10% off, and there was some counter service that we, where we, oh, I 
know what it was. It was the Joffrey's coffee bar. If you watch my video, I'll put a link up here. That's where I, I uh, got my coffee that you see in the video. By the way, there's three shots of espresso in that coffee. So I was very energetic when I was uh, doing my filming the rest of that day. But they offer a 10% DVC discount as well. So there are several different places to get discounts and that 20% really helps. Now, here's the thing there. Uh, you also only get this if you buy direct from Disney. However, a lot of us that are DVC members end up being annual pass holders. So if you buy resale and you want to get that 20%, get yourself an annual pass and boom, you get 20% off on all your merchandise. And you also get the same discounts at restaurants as the Disney Vacation Club members. Always subject to change. Disney loves to change the rules like, oh, it's Thursday at three, let's change a rule. So know that anything I say in this video um, could change like that on a dime. I've snapped like three times in this video. I don't know what that's about. So anyway, discounts, they're good. Take advantage of them. Okay, then lastly, and this is going to be in next week's video, maybe the week after. So if you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe. Access to the Top of the World Lounge. Top of the World. Top of the World. I love the Top of the World Lounge. Now, I don't like it when you would normally think, which would be like during fireworks. I like it. Um, I think it opens at five and I like to go up there when it's quiet. I had a glass of wine. I chatted with the cast member. I chatted with some other Disney Vacation Club members that were up there because you can only go up there if you're a Disney Vacation Club member. But here's what's fun. It's available to all Disney Vacation Club members. You do not need to have purchased your contract direct from Disney to access the Top of the World Lounge. So there's a special elevator that you go to and I'll show you that whole process uh, when, I, when I do the video of the time that I spent over there, but it's really a lovely place. The views cannot be beat. Um, I've heard during fireworks, it's a little crazy up there. So uh, I like going when it's, uh, when it's quiet and peaceful and it's just a beautiful place to hang out. Um, of course, you do still have to pay for your food and beverages up there, but I strongly recommend recommend the pretzel bread with the cheese dipping sauce. Mm, I'm hungry. That sounds so good to me. So that's it. Those were the perks I was able to use because I am a Disney Vacation Club member on my most recent trip to Walt Disney World. I hope that if you have questions, comments, other things about Disney Vacation Club that you would like to see a video about, please tell me in the comments below. I hope you'll like, I hope you'll subscribe, and I hope before you know it, I'll be saying to you, welcome home, neighbor. Have a great day.